Hello, doing another cooking video. Um, this one's gonna be a bit more strange because um, I don't think everybody's gonna have a sous vide cooker. I imagine not, but you, could, you can do this the traditional way, look up a recipe. Um, it's quite a similar process, but I'm gonna use a water bath. Um, it's a bit of an experiment, but I think I've got a good feeling that it's gonna lend itself very well to um, comfy duck. I've got this salt, which I've had in the cupboard. It's one of those things that you accumulate um, from a gifty thing, if you're a foodie, you get given like unusual things. And this one's like a uh, lava salt. Um, it's got a bit of charcoal in it, some thyme, uh, sugar, uh, salt, and um, I think it's got a bit of lavender in it. I seem to remember from the ingredients. Yeah, one percent thyme, a bit of charcoal. Um, well, maybe not. It's got some little purple flowers in there. I thought it was lavender, but. I think it's going to lend its maybe little flowers from the time. Anyway, I've rubbed it all over these four duck um, legs, and I've used quite a lot. I've used 25 grams. Um, now, basically, what this does, you rinse it off later, but they're going to go in the fridge for six hours with the salt on, and it kind of cures them. So the thyme flavour should infuse in a little bit, and the salt should firm up the meat and cure them uh, before they get cooked in a water bath. So I'm going to put them into these rack pack, um, these Ziploc bags and then they're gonna go into the fridge for six hours. So it's a long process, this. They cook for a long time as well. But if you've ever had confit duck, then you'll know it's absolutely delicious. If you get it right, the meat should be really, really tender. Oh, and it goes, it's yeah, beautiful, try it. Hello, sorry, I'm dressed smart. It's a bit of a weird one, but um, I'm doing a Zoom chat tonight. We thought it'd be nice to dress up smart for it. So I'm wearing um, my suit for my sister's wedding. Um, but anyway, I'm getting back to, because it's now the evening and it's been six hours plus later, so I'm getting back to the next bit. So my duck's finished in the fridge, so I'm going to show you the next step. Right, so this is my sous vide cooker. This is like a heater element, um, and it goes into, like a giant fish tank heater, it goes into the water, which I've set up in this pan because I don't need a lot of space, and it will heat the water to a precise temperature, this being... 75 degrees for this, so I'll take this one, that's the current temperature, that's the target temperature, to 75, Ooh. and click go, and then away we go. What I've done here is I've put my goose fat, which melts very easily anyway, um, in here to melt it, because I'm going to pour that into the bag with my duck, and I thought rather than trying to heat it in the pan, might as well do two jobs in one, so there we go. Mm. Right, here's my duck legs. So I need to rinse all the salt and stuff off these now, so that they're not super salty. Um, and then, so I'll rinse them, pat them dry with some kitchen towel, and then they're gonna go back into a new bag, along with the duck fat, and then they'll be immersed in the water bath for about 12 hours. So all overnight, I'm gonna leave them. Um, so I've waited quite a while. I'm gonna wait till about eight o'clock to put them on, so I don't have to get up early. Um, and then I'm going to put them in the water bath and leave them for eight hours to cook. So that's the next step. So I'm just patting them dry at the moment. Um, so get, try and get as much moisture out as possible. And then they're going to go in the bag with um, the, the uh, fat. So there we go. And there he is in his suit. <laughs> so this is just heating up. I've got the bag in. I'm going to use the water pressure to kind of push uh, the air bubbles out. And I've got my fat in there. So they're immersed in fat nicely big blob there, that melt down. Um, and then I'm gonna zip the lock back, the bag, zip lock the bag closed and clamp it to the side. And then 12 hours later, delicious duck. Okay, little update on the old uh, um, duck, uh, comfy duck. Uh, I, it's now sort of midday the next day, gone midday. Um, and I kind of, uh, this little heater thing overnight, it, I think even with the foil on, the level went down below minimum, so it cut out. I think it was still t tepid, the water, in the morning, so I think it had cut off early hours of the morning, like six, five, six in the morning. So hopefully it's kind of all right. But I put it back in, because the duck would have cooked quite a lot, I just needed to continue cooking the meat. So I put it back in and it's now been quite a lot longer, so I'll take it out and let you know how it is. So yeah, hope, fingers crossed it hasn't fucked it up. So they're, they're definitely cooked, and I think they're pretty tender. Like the meat's kind of, falling apart a little bit, coming away from the bone, it feels very tender. Like the, obviously the fat hasn't been rendered on them, so the next stage, which will be when we're gonna eat them, so I'm gonna let them cool slightly, put them in the fridge, and then when we wanna eat them, um, I'll show you the next bit, but I think we'll um, slightly season the skin and then grill them in a hot oven so the fat and skin crispen up. And so you've got a tender soft meat and a crispy top.
Mm. Okay, we'll see what it turns out like. Okay, I'm gonna have a bit of a go at trying to make a sauce, to, a sort of gravy or sauce for my duck. Um, and duck's quite fatty, so I thought I'd do it with, um, it lends itself to like berries and stuff like that. I've been raiding the cupboard to see what I can find. This could be weird, but I'm gonna do red wine, I've got some chicken stock, um, and I'm gonna put in some of this damson jam I found in the cupboard. Um, so what I'm gonna do, the way I like to make gravy, is to get me stock based, like a gravy, and I'm gonna heat some butter in this little pan, add some flour, cook it down, slowly integrate the stock, and then I'm gonna reduce it down with some red wine and some of this. But yeah, I'll show you how it comes out. So here I've got my butter and flour, and I'm sort of cooking it out a bit, and then I'll take it off the heat, and I'll slowly integrate in my stock. So I'll show you that in a sec. So it's integrating it in, and it's kind of got to this sort of like roux type consistency. So it's um, thick, you have to add it very slowly, you'll end up getting it lumpy. So you pour a little bit of this in, like a tablespoon or so, whisk it in until it's all integrated, then add a bit more and keep going until it's sort of like a liquid. Probably all of that will go in, which is like 400 mils, I think, I don't know, I guess, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Right, so as you can see, it's just starting to come to a sort of simmer or a low boil, and it's really thickening up to like a good sort of gravy consistency. So in a minute, I'm gonna add some red wine, but I forgot when you're cooking, you always have a little bit of wine to drink. Some for me, some for the food. Go. Stir that in. Should go a nice colour now. Oh yeah. That smells good. And then I'm going to add in a healthy dollop, large full teaspoon of this damson jam. This is a bit of an experiment. I don't know what this is going to be like, so uh, I'll let you know. But we'll see. Might need some seasoning in a minute. First taste live on camera for you. I'm quite happy with the colour. It looks quite cool. Right. Mm. It's good, a tiny bit so the parrot's in Tiny bit of salt and pepper. I think we're that'll be alright. It tastes nice. So I've just put them under, I heated up the grill, it's already sizzling. A lot of fat will pour off these, so I put that underneath to catch it, because all of the fat has been cooked in, plus the as the flat renders under the skin, it's all gonna pour down through there. Um, I've lowered the grill quite low because our grill our grill's really intense anyway, but I want to heat the duck duck back through as well, so I want to use it in both senses. So we'll come back in a couple of minutes and keep an eye on them and see what happens. Don't want them to burn. So I'm just um, blowtorching it slightly to get a more even brown on it to render down the fat. If you haven't got a blowtorch, you can probably just use a frying pan to fry it. It just definitely gets a nice even brown on it and renders down the fat a little bit. Just gets to the bit where the grill doesn't reach. Just working my way around. There you go. No, they look nice. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so we're all served up. I've got gravy on my special sauce, red wine sauce. And it looks, looks pretty good. I'll let you know how it tastes. So it's pretty nice and tender actually, the duck. It's definitely worked the slow cooking. It's kind of really falls away from the bone nicely into little flakes. See? Um, sauce is pretty good. I reckon it could be better, but I, I did quite a quick fix. It works well. Yeah, it's come together right, I think. What do you think? Excellent cauliflower cheese as well. Yeah. Excellent nice. duck.